So ever since we got lossless audio for Apple Music, many of us have been wondering when exactly we are going to see support for this natively on AirPods. Because let's be honest guys, it's kind of dumb that Apple's hardware cannot utilize all the features of a first party service. So yeah, this is something Apple should sort out. And while there has been some good news that we could see AirPods Pro 2 get lossless audio support, in fact, Apple's engineers themselves have suggested they're working on a Bluetooth alternative. So I do think the chances are pretty high. And that brings us to this new report suggesting that via Bluetooth itself, we could see support for lossless audio on AirPods Pro 2 and also AirPods Max. So let's delve into it. So before I talk about that, let me explain exactly why AirPods don't support lossless audio as of now. Essentially, AirPods use a codec called AAC, which is custom made by Apple for the headphones and is usually fine for most consumers in terms of sound quality, but of course, unfortunately does not have any support for lossless audio. To gain lossless audio support, you need specific codecs. And in this report, it's LC3, which we could see Apple give us with future AirPods. So Shrimp Apple Pro, a pretty credible source by the way, says we could see this new codec with AirPods Pro 2. Now it should be comparable to LDAC, which is a more common loss of standard, but I'm assuming LC3 is more efficient. Since it would not be great if loss of audio support absolutely obliterates the battery life of your AirPods, especially when they're tiny in the first place and degrade fast. So yes, LC3 sounds perfect, but there will be a catch and that is is this will only work with specific models, namely the iPhone 11 and up, and also Apple Silicon Max. Now the Apple Silicon Max cap I get, but why older iPhones like the 10s and the 10 are not supported, I'm not so sure to be honest. Anyways, this all sounds like pretty good news on the whole, especially since, like I said, initial reports did suggest that Apple could use a completely different standard to replace Bluetooth to achieve this. And so yes, I'm glad Apple's sticking to a more common standard like Bluetooth instead of using AirPlay. Anyways, the news gets better because Shrimp then tells us that within beta firmware for AirPods Max, there is evidence of this and LC3 can now be enabled. Now you may be wondering, how can these AirPods suddenly support a completely different codec? Well, I'm not so sure myself, but allegedly LC3 is natively within Bluetooth 5.2. Now, yes, I know what you're thinking. AirPods Max only supports Bluetooth 5.2, right? Well, there is evidence of Apple updating the Bluetooth version of their products via an update. For example, the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and iPad Air 2 all were given Bluetooth 4.2 a year after release. And to be honest, I would not be surprised if AirPods Max always had the hardware for Bluetooth 5.2, but of course, Apple's only enabling it now for the lossless audio supports that I'm assuming they were working on internally. Again, Apple has done this in the past. For example, iPhone 12 had reverse charging supports disabled, but was later enabled to work for the MagSafe power bank. But ultimately, I'm just glad Apple's giving us lossless audio support to the existing AirPods Max because it would have sucked if they forced consumers to spend another $550 to get AirPods Max 2 if they wanted lossless. This, however, is surprisingly a pro-consumer move I appreciate and certainly does make AirPods Max slightly better value than before, though I do still think it's kind of overpriced. Now, Shrimp does say if you do want the best lossless quality, AirPods Pro 2 will still offer that because you're getting the new SIP that I'm assuming will be the H2 chip and this should improve audio quality whilst keeping the driver size relatively the same. Anyways, for those wondering what other upgrades we can expect with AirPods Pro 2, here's a quick recap. So the big alleged upgrade that some might not like is a new design. So Mark Gurman told us that Apple is considering giving us a stemless design with these new AirPods, similar to the Galaxy Buds and the Pixel Buds. Now this would certainly be an interesting change and could make these headphones more comfortable in the year. But then again, I'm also wondering why Apple would even consider doing this. Because number one, the stems make the AirPods iconic and 
Apple cares about their products standing out. And number two, the stem does serve a purpose. I mean, you control your media with it, and it's a much better experience than the frankly stupid swipe gestures on most headphones that are finicky to use. So yes, I would not be surprised if AirPods Pro 2 looked the same for the most part, and in fact, German does say that Apple did struggle to fit all the necessary components of AirPods in a smaller earbud. Also, Mac Rumors gave us some legit looking images of AirPods Pro 2 that had the stem. And actually, let's move on to those images because there are some key changes here. The first change are new skin detection sensors. These are from AirPods 3 and are way more accurate than the optical sensors AirPods Pro have right now. Another big change that I'm definitely gonna appreciate are speaker holes built within the case. Now, yes, I know this looks pretty goofy, but this is gonna help users find the case if they lose them by playing a sound. And as someone who very often walks around the house with their pods in my ears and then forgets where I originally put the case, this is really gonna be a game changer to be honest. Now other upgrades I think we can expect are of course better sound quality and better battery life. Shroom does suggest the former with the new SIP and a battery life upgrade seems likely since AirPods 3 currently have better battery life than the Pros and I'm sure Apple wants to fix that and makes the Pros better, which of course, what many would expect to be the case. There is also another wildcard leak regarding fitness sensors within these AirPods. Now I kind of find this redundant because many who use AirPods have Apple Watches, which already have a plethora of useful health sensors. And so I would appreciate if Apple uses the space instead for a larger battery. However, if whatever data they need to gather needs to be collected by something in our ear instead of our wrist, then yeah, I'll take the new sensors. So yes, all of this is very good news and I'm certainly very excited that Apple is making lossless audio more accessible and if I do get AirPods Pro 2, I will give it a go. But now it's time for the peep show to see what you guys think regarding these AirPods Pro 2 rumors. Albert says, really want to know how they sound and fit. And yes, I'm also looking forward to seeing the sound quality with these. While I'm fine with the sound quality as is, with the current pair, I do hope there are slight improvements. And fit-wise, I do think it's gonna be exactly the same since, of course, we've seen these renders, the same silicon tips we have right now. And to be honest, I do hope Apple keeps that differentiation with the regular AirPods and AirPods Pro for the time being, since I do know some consumers who prefer the tips, but some who prefer the hard tips with the regular AirPods. Personally, the regular AirPods never stay in my ear, so I'm always going to be on Team AirPods Pro. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPad 10. And on that note, see ya peeps.